Hey everyone, it's your boy Dims and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be diving into the world of Chow Chows. I'm going to be talking about my first hand experience of owning a Chow Chow, being a first dog owner and all the facts about Chow Chows. Stay tuned for more. So, at the moment, Simba's currently on his walk with my dad. So what I'm going to do is do a quick vlog transition where I'm going to surprise him. I'm going to show you guys his reaction. Normally, when I come back from work or surprise him at walks, he goes crazy. So I think it'll be something cool and sweet to show you guys. So let's do it. Hey guys, so... I'm currently on my way to surprise Simba. So normally every day we have this routine where he has to go do his poo, so we take him out for a big walk. But lately, I've been surprising him, so my dad takes him first, and then I show up later, and his reaction is always so cute, so I thought this would be something cool to vlog and show you guys. So I'm currently on my way to him, and then hopefully the next clip you see will be of him getting excited with my whistle. So stay tuned. Cool, so I think he should be approaching very, very soon. Let's see if we can see him. So, I'm currently on the way to see Simba. I think I've just seen him. So let's see if I can show you guys his reaction. Let me see if you can spot a wild Simba. Let's zoom in. You ready? He nearly saw me. Let me surprise him quickly. Hold on. Hold on. He might have seen me already. Simba! <laughs> so, this is what happens all the time. He goes so crazy, starts jumping around, running after me. Hey! <laughs> As you can see, he goes crazy all the time, every time. Come on, let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> he loves the attention every time he shows up, all the time. Cool, so now that we're back home, I'm going to tell you guys a few fun facts about Chow Chows. It's hard to miss a Chow Chow with its signature lion-like mane and teddy bear face. It's believed that dogs have been around for roughly 2,000 to 4,000 years, making them the oldest breed of dogs. While originally from the north, the Chow has most frequently been seen in southern China. China used these fluffy pups as working dogs. They were trained to hunt, guard, pull sleds and sometimes herd cattle. Also, as disgusting as this might sound, the Chinese used to eat chow chows, which honestly, to this day, I have no idea how they could do such thing. Chows have a little something extra in their mouths. Two extra teeth? Most dogs only have 42, but a chow has 44. One thing that might surprise someone new to the breed is the chow's uniquely coloured tongue. As puppies, the dogs have standard pink tongue, but with age, their tongues tend much darker. Full grown chow chows have blue black tongues that look almost lizard like. The only other dog to sport this unusual tongue is the Chinese Sha Pei. Chow chows come in five colours black, blue, cinnamon, cream, and red. Their coats can also either be smooth or rough. Also, unlike other dogs, the chow's back legs are completely straight. Chows are unique among most popular dog breeds for being aloof and standoffish. Rather than rushing to greet owners at the door or straining at their leashes to greet other dogs, they're more likely to hang back and observe, almost in a feline way. They are not as affection motivated as some canines. While they can and do appreciate a good scratch behind the ears, one might have more luck in tasting inside behaviour and socialisation with treats. This also means they're an excellent companion for pet owners with an independent personality and soft temperament. Finally, the Chow is a one person dog that bonds to one owner and scorns the rest. This shrewd and sometimes dangerous behaviour can be prevented with proper training and socialisation. With the right upbringing and plenty of exercise, the Chow can be the perfect fairy companion. Up, up, up. <laughs> up. <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright guys, so I'm gonna talk to you guys about my experience with Simba. Where do I even begin? So I got Simba probably at the start of when did I get him actually? Beginning of April 2020. So that was basically when lockdown became really really strict. I've always wanted a dog all my entire life, but um Mum never let me, but then I get to the age where, you know, I, I'm old enough to buy my own things and pay for something that I really wanted, so I decided to go for my dream dog, which was a Chow Chow, and that's Simba. So, um, what information can I tell you guys? If you're looking to go for a Chow Chow, don't expect them to be like the most let's say loving dog that don't give you really a lot of affection so he's always sleeping, <laughs> eating, after sleeping, eating like that's literally his life he will have like his little moments where he wants to play um, but like I said these all vary the normal child child you get, their personality type and how you basically raise them as well um, he is quite protective so one thing about Simba which, if you guys saw the facts, they're quite like protective. So like, they have that one owner who they attach themselves to. But in the house, every time the whole family's at home, so me and my parents are home, and he hears a noise, then he's like straight away in love mode. He goes and protects, like starts barking like crazy. He'll only leave once one of us go there, just to like let him know that we're aware. So he's really, really protective. In terms of playing with other dogs, um, at the start, he was all right. He did get bitten twice by two dogs, which the owners didn't have them on the lead. And then when we went to ask if they were playing for, they said, yeah, but I ended up trying to attack him. And that's one thing that Simba's got a lot since he's been born, I think, because he has that lion appearance. A lot of dogs look at him and they always are defensive. So like, even if they look friendly, once we give them like a minute or two with Simba to play, they start biting him straight away and like trying to bite his fur. So like there's moments where his hair is just all over the place, all because of that. So yeah, in terms of like playing with dogs, he has his one or two friends which he plays with. Apart from that, even when we used to take him to like play parks, there'd be let's say 20 dogs. He would play for like five minutes, then just be in his own little corner. And that's just because of his personality. They're very just, you know, cat-like, so yeah personally for me i can't really complain on the way simba's personality is i pretty much love it um i can be quite lazy at times that being said i have trained him quite well for i think a first time dog owner um but he doesn't really annoy anyone he doesn't cause much stress he was never a type of dog to um bite stuff in the house so like shoes, clothes, bed, sofas, he's never really touched it. He's always been well behaved, which is amazing. And with potty training, I think, I thought, as a first dog owner, it was gonna be really complicated, but it turned out being quite all right. I mean, I think for possibly two months, two months, let's say, wait, April, May, June, possibly around two months, he was doing his business at home, but then, with the whole potty train, I think he got used to it. So now, every time he needs to go out, or he wants to go out to have a do a poo, we, or just to go out and catch some fresh air, he'll come up to us, he'll look at the windows, he'll start crying. So like the one way we communicate is, I'll ask him, what do you want? And then if he really wants something, he'll come look at me and just be like, mm -mm -mm, start crying and stuff. I know that's a bad impersonation, but um, yeah, overall, loving, loving dog. I think, if you're a first time dog owner and you really want to go for a chow chow, be prepared for their personality trait. So, they, he'll, like, the chow chows will give you cuddles and give you love whenever they want to. Um, same with me is alright, because out of us three, so which is me and my parents, I think I'm the one he's more close to. That was from the beginning, he used to sleep in my room. Um, if something bad happened to him or if he was like choking on food, for example, he would come to me to help him out. Uh, just stuff like that. So they're very protective over one person, but that doesn't mean they don't like the rest. It's just that they have that one love, true love. So like no matter what happens, that's the person they go to. Um, but yeah, don't force them to give you cuddles. Even though like I hug Simba here and then, but it only lasts like two minutes because he doesn't really 
like to be in the same position. I think he's really impatient. I think, do you know what? Funny enough, I know he's a dog, but he kind of reminds me of me. <laughs> Personality-wise, I think he's very, very similar. Hold on, let me give him a treat. Come here. Look, we're talking about you. Here you go. Good boy. Are you gonna sit? Are you gonna sit? Sit. That's another thing. Um, Simba with toys, he never really um, enjoyed toys as much. And I've heard this from other people that own child as well, that they're not really into their toys and even beds. So we never bothered to buy a Simba bed. And because of all the fur that he has, he always like goes to the coolest place of the house. And I, I think that's normal, because during the summer, I think they suffer quite a lot. Like um, Simba, for example, we suffer quite a bit. I know he was always drinking water like every second of the day. He was just suffering quite a bit. We had to get a fan and put him next to him as well. Give me a pop. So if you're buying a chow chow, expect to help them a lot, especially during summer times. During the winter, perfect. All the fur that they have, it kind of protects them from the cold. And I think they enjoy it. So like if you've seen the video of him in the snow, he absolutely loved it. And I think if you could be out there the whole time, you would be. So that's one massive factor to think about as well. Um, in terms of toys, for me, I bought him just a squeaky toy, which let me see if I can show you quickly. Something like this, for example, he loves chasing squirrels and going after cats. So I bought something like this, which makes this noise. And with this, you want some more? Simple. Anyways, um, toys like this is the only toys he enjoyed. I tried to buy him balls, he's not, really, he's not really a fan of tennis balls or anything like that either. But stuff like that is a go-to if you're a chow chow owner or if you're thinking about getting a chow chow. But yeah, overall, like having a dog is the best thing in the world. I wouldn't change it for the world. Like here's my life. There was a moment where he's choked on food and it like it got really, really serious, kind of scared me. I cried, yeah, because I thought I was going to lose him. And he was literally just like 10 weeks old at that time. Really, really scared me. But since I'm having a dog, it's like the best thing in the world. It just feels like, it's just that company, that best friend that you never really knew that you needed. And just in general, dogs are just amazing. You know that phrase when they, when they say, a dog's a, best, a man's best friend. That's, that's the saying. I never believed it. Well, I did. But it's so different once you have one to see how they actually act. And if I'm honest with you, he's my world. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video or want to know any more tips or need help or you're thinking about buying a chow chow, let me know. I'll be more than happy to help. Uh, if you do own a chow chow already, let me know what you guys do. Because um, there's a few things that I think I can still learn and improve on with Simba. He's only one year old, so he's still quite young. Um, but I'd appreciate any help as well, any tips that you guys would like to share with me. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in another video soon. Peace.